But anyway, just going off that, I don't want to keep going ranting on about about me at the minute. Just wish people are just don't don't pick on people who you think are weak and. Oh. Yeah, I hate society. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm probably pissing people off who, who do all this stuff. I don't care. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, you just, you're just tools, aren't you? You're just wimps. Anyway. The guys last night, they got took away in the car. So I don't know what's happened to them this morning. I really don't. I don't know what's happened to them. Probably, uh, hopefully, for this, uh, hopefully they got went to sleep in the police station. But at the same time, if he threatened the taxi driver with a knife, that see that has really pissed me off. I mean, the dweebs, the proper dweebs. But I don't know, Mr. Bose could be a psychopath. Might be a secret psychopath. Could have could have gone to that house and murdered that that, that prostitute. Yeah, but I'm being serious. He had a knife on him. She's just, just, you know, you just think if anything kicked off. Don't know whether they've been on drugs. You just you don't got a clue. I mean both both from the laces, all undone and everything. So I don't know. <sighs> anyway, so it's about let you do whatever you're doing. You get to work or I don't know what I'm doing today. Thought it was Friday, I ain't got a clue what days it is. I was going to come back to England um, this week. But, no. I really wish trouble wouldn't find me. I've been, I've been alright, I haven't had no trouble for a few months now, thank God for that. The last episode with them two lads. Oh, but except here, I've, I've lost it with a few people here. With the gypsies. Letting the dogs, let the dogs, oh, the dogs roam in the streets here, it's ridiculous. So what the dog, little dogs come around to me, because the fence, that like temporary fence, dog comes there, sets my dogs off. I put all chicken wire up as well, to stop the little dogs and cats and everything coming in. I don't want my dog to grab hold of a cat. And um, so I've got behind mess up metal fencing, it's proper sh sharp at the top. Well, obviously, when this dogs, the bloke up the road here, fucking idiot he is. He, he's another one. He, he's one who gets to take, takes his missus to put a person. Yeah. Yeah. All at it, all at it. Anyway, lets his dog go on the fence, and my dog's going bomber. Proper want to eat this little shit, this dog. No, because the, not the dog's fault, it's the family's fault. None of these dogs who are roaming the streets here, it's not the dog's fault. It's the idiot owners. If you're having a dog, be prepared to pay for its vet bills. They get ill. They get ill like humans. Be prepared to pay vet bills and be prepared to keep it locked up and get it chipped and marketed. Some of these families here don't do it. Apparently it's law now. Now if I did it with my dogs, well, one of them's asleep here, Suka. If I did it, please to be here at my door. I've mentioned all the dogs on the street. I've took photographs. I've, I've, you get like packs of them, eight to nine. They're like gang, they're like you gangs in England, where the dogs run the street. What they do? They go down. They get big gangs. They go down the street, see a little, you know, little innocent little dog. Oh, mind his own business. Oh, just what? You know, I don't know where he's been. Probably he's probably been out to see a, probably see his girlfriend for a quick one, and then going back home. Beat him up, don't they? Proper gang up on him. Jump on him, bite him, bite his legs, everything. I've seen it. They, they are, yeah, dogs there, they're pack animals. They, that's how some of you lot are in England and everywhere in the world. So, so I know YouTube's, it's a worldwide thing. It's a worldwide thing. Let the normal people live their life, earn the money. Let them live their life. Just, you know what I say, don't you? All the arseholes. Go and kill each other. You all go and kill each other. You do that to yourselves. Don't be doing it to innocent people, spoiling people's lives. So anyway, these dogs go roaming the streets here. 
does matter. You know, dear. Anyway, I phoned the council. I send them emails here. They don't like me here, you know. I'm moaning about everything. They drive through. There's a little school here. They drive through the zebra crossing constantly in the morning like maniacs. I used to go with my girlfriend the old time to school. The um, nobody stops. I mean, years ago they used to say when I used to come here with my family, you don't actually have to stop at a zebra crossing. People have to be careful when either they cross the road. It's just a point of to cross the road. So car drivers are aware. Car drivers, bicycles, you don't care here. Bicycles go flying through. Cars go flying through. Buses, they, 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 lorries, they don't care. I've, I've, I've wrote to them. I've, I've, I've slagged them all off here. Done it all. Done it all on Facebook. Done all the slagging off. Facebook me. The ate me. The ate me. Like we parking. Got parking. Got parking in the school. So what they've done, built these big block. They love blocks, you know, blocks. And that, that's how they build the houses. Big, big concrete blocks. Got these big concrete blocks and they put all these plant plots on. Big long plant plant plots. Anyway. Fucking ridiculous. You park your car, you can't undo your fucking door. Because of a plant pot. There's this mentality, this is what does me in. So when you park your car, you gotta look where the plant pot is. Because you can't undo your door. It depends which way you are, obviously. I mean they're left-hand drive, my car's right hand drive. But either way, if you've got kids, you're not gonna Say if they park in this way, they're gonna get they're gonna to need to get out on the plant pot side. Now if they park that way and they get out, only an idiot would let the kids could it the old little roads here, only an idiot would let the kids go onto the actual road. So the council's doing nobody no favours. You're just gonna end up killing somebody. So I moaned about the plant pots. I said, shift the fucking plant pots, stop trying to make it look pretty, put the plant pots somewhere else. Still there anyway, they no listen to me. Zebra crossing. No, I was thinking about being a lollipop man. I'll get one of my old, my old work jacket out. Me alone. I've got some, a couple of new ones. Do it for a bit. Give them a bit of training. Make myself a little pole. Pole. For kids to cross the road. Mind you, I, I went there with my dog, you know. The church there. So church in the town. Christian temple. Catholic one's just here. Rings its bells five o'clock every morning. She, she, it's an alarm clock. One thing I like about here... Everybody does everything in the morning, which doesn't work. I mean, it's, it's like a cemetery here, afternoon. It's weekends, it's just dead. Everything happens early. Like they'll say, good afternoon, nine o'clock. I've had arguments with them. I say, it's fucking not the afternoon, it's the morning. Good afternoon. I said, no, red gal, morning. Morning, I've had arguments. It's like a nine o'clock. Now... So, so a lot of these people who clean the streets here, hey, this is a good one. Ones who clean the streets here, what they do, this is a tip for anybody who's watching it who does anything to do with councils, whatever it is, or you got any, you want to put any ideas through. If you want your money, and I agree with this, one thing I'll admit, the town's here, spotless. They have paperwork all over and leaves all over the place. What they do is, the people who cannot work, or who do not want to work, they can get 50,000 foreign a month, 150 quid. But you have to go clean in the streets. So the men will do it as well, but the men will do like cutting trees, bushes, tidying up, they do litter picking. Men will do some of the harder work, digging holes or digging things. A lot of the women, they go around in street gangs, another load of gangs. Yeah. Throw a piece of paper at you or something, or flick a load of leaves all over you. Anyway, sweep up, keep it all nice and clean. Must admit they do all. And then they have to go to like council places like um, council houses or right here they have the, the old people's homes and things. Like it like day centres and things. My girlfriend used to like working more. They go there after do the gardening and things. Anyway, they have to do that. And if they don't do it, they don't get the 50,000 foreign. So there's no, no real much work out here. And if you're, not, if you're not educated, a lot of them can't even speak proper. They're not educated, there's half of these gypsies. I'm not, I'm not slagging gypsies off. But these gypsies, half of them aren't, aren't educated. Some of them are. Some of them definitely are. But there's a lot who aren't. Never really went to school. 
scored, scored your steer. I mean, I've got no problem with gypsies. I don't even like to call them gypsies. You call them here, Sagana, ain't me. They're the Hungarians to me. If they're born here, they're Hungarians. As I can say, but they still call them. What we've got to just say, you've got your Irish, what we would say your Irish gypsies, if that's how you want to call them or whatever. More than then you've got your travellers. These are not like that. They're, they're not, they're different. They live in houses. Um, there's a lot of them, to be honest with you. I get on with a lot of them. I get on with these more than what I would say the Hungarian people. Because they're normal. I mean, if they've got some of them, I've got nothing. And because they've not had the luxuries, they don't miss it. Really nice. They don't, they go, I'll give them cans of beer and all sorts of means somewhere. Look after everybody, I do. I'm like a charity. Somebody comes here, oh, God, you get painting on dead cheap, everything here. Except some of them, I will admit, like when you get the arse done, painted on outside the arse and some of the bo like gas gas boiler work, same price as England. It's ridiculous, I don't know how some of them afford it here. I mean, there's, uh, some of them have got nice cars, you know, They've got Mercs. I mean, there's loads of those X, X550Ds driving around here, They're all over the place. Yeah, good cars they are, 380 brake, diesels, cracking. Yeah, there's some nice cars, I don't know how some of them get it, must probably get, I think I don't know if you can get, um, I'm sure somebody told me you can actually get finance on a car, even if you're not working, and all they do is just take the car off now, in the end. That's what's happened a lot of the houses, there's been an over here just here, up for sale. Seven, seven million foreign. So let's just say one million for it's three grand. Which it is around about one million for it is about three grand. Five hundred thousand for it is um, one and a half grand. Anyway, it says seven million. Oh, you want to see the state of it? I'll get, a, I know, I'm going to do a tour of Mesa. Oh, I'm not sure never said it. I'm going to do a tour of the town where my granddad was and everything. Do a little bit. I'm going to probably walk the dogs. But, um, yeah, street cleaning. That's what they need to do in England. You are souls who don't want to work. I know I know. there's a lot of East Europeans in England. There's a lot of Hungarians. In the town where I am, it's full of Hungarians. Only problem I've got, only problem I've got with other nationalities coming to England, respect England like we would respect your country. I don't come here to put my English breakfast and I don't shove my tea down people's throats, but I have gave tea bags out because you need to know what tea is. Property, I mean, that, that is important. You never do an English breakfast here because they haven't got the sausages or bacon, not the same. Tin of Heinz beans at one of these like supermarkets I get to. <sighs> Must be 150 for one tin of Heinz beans. I'll bring them all from England, get me Tesco ones, I'll do, or whatever, Sainsbury's. I think I bought. About eight packs, of, eight packs of six. I mean, I went to Tesco last time. Bought me bring me big two hundred and forty boxes of PGT. I can't live without my tea. Put me on a desert island and say, what do you want? I say, I need my tea. Give me fresh water, fresh water, tea bags. Always a full supply of milk. Don't want, I don't have sugar anymore. I'll be happy with that. Drinking tea. Calms me down. That's what I had to do. When I used to lose it in the lorry, some twat, I used to pull up, have a cup of tea for half an hour. I pray, put it on break and have a cup of tea. <sighs> Makes wonders. It, it does it does wonders for me. I love a cup of tea. I me, mean, you know, like in England, I mean, we love a cup of tea, don't we? Cup of tea. Cup of tea and slice cake on Sally. Mm. Anyway, I've bubbled a lot this time, haven't I? Yeah, I sound a little bit posh, didn't it? Haven't I? You can tell I'm not from London, can't you? My northern accent. You probably guess I've had people <coughs> tell me, oh, don't you talk funny sometimes, you? I don't know, do I? But, yeah, the sun's out here today. Cold at night, cold in the morning, but the sun's out, it looks nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with these puppies. Oh, I'm stressed out. Do you think I should sell the puppies? These six German shepherds. Think I, I, I don't do it for the money, but 
It's such lovely dogs, and I let them in the garden yesterday. And they tried to climb up the veranda, and one nearly fell off the veranda, and things like that. I can't. I had to put them back in the bedroom. Summer, I could concentrate. I'm putting. To, I'm going to need to put gates on to block, block the stop them going up the steps to the veranda. I don't know. But now I had ten German Shepherds. I tried to concentrate on my cars and. I don't want me to do this. I mean, plus cleaning, cleaning the poop up. Jesus, it would be like owning an elephant, like owning one elephant, the amount of shit. I don't know how many kilo I'd have a day. But I mean, I know in summer they don't eat much. But uh, flies here, insects and mosquitoes. Oh, and ticks. Horrendous. Absolutely terrible. Some of the bugs out here. I'll get some videos in summer, you're not seeing anything. I mean, I had a frog in the pond. Bullfrog. It was massive. Snakes. Snakes also. Water beetles. Like that. They bite you. Get all the big um, ornit wasps. Big ornit wasps, big ones. Well, they're quite alright. They tend to go around. They don't go around in gangs, they don't. They go by themselves. What they do, they, they, you get all the wasps, all the yellow, what they call yellow jacket wasps with the yellow and black. I love bees. Yellow, the yellow jackets, the little ones with the black stripes like we have in England, what sting you want? Little arseholes. We have loads of them all going to the pond in the summer. I have no problem with that. I, I get my little net and I rescue them out there when they I ain't seen little insects drowning. So I, I grab them all and put them by my back. I ain't been stung by one yet, I didn't like me. I could sit on a rock near the pond. Hundreds of them. They don't sting me, they don't attack me. But then you get like these big hornets come. I had to rescue one of them with London, but come, they're massive. Oh, they are like this. But they fly really slow. <sighs> yeah, I've got some of them here. But no, I don't see that many bees at the minute. The little brown, not the normal, what I call them bum bum bees. But I know it's bum bull. Is it bum bull? I call them bum bums, I don't know why. I always call them bum bums. Big black, big black, fat ones. They don't really see them, big ones. I mean, they've got some jet black big ones here. They fly around, hovering around. Full full of insects, wild insects. Oof, some big ones here. Get them big, like, big stag beetles like that. Big, big claws on them with the trees. Big snakes up the trees. There's all sorts here. Well, loads of horse. I try and get a, a video of a hawk. Eagles and everything, yeah, full of them. Yeah, you get all the the dad. But the fact they had beers, they had beers um, this summer. All the beers come from come from Michigan, up in the hills. All come down. They went into all the villages and towns, into the centres. Big brown beers. Loads of them was in gardens, scavenging for food. Never. Yeah, I must admit, never didn't been on motorway. They run down the motorway, down all the side roads. They don't, they don't go around in gangs either. They just go around on their own. Even little ones, they go around on their own, they do. Well, I know some of the little, little, little ones, they have to go around with the parents. But like, medium sized ones, shall we say. Still a few kilo, aren't they? But yeah, just looking for food, climbing up trees and doing that. But yeah, they're running around town centres in gardens looking for food. But what they do, if, if they did manage to catch any of them, they'd give them a quick injection shoot. And take them back up to the hills in the forest and things. We've got all the wolves back here now. All the wolves have started to come back. Great. Another load of arseholes. Them ones who shoot animals. I don't understand it, I don't. Just don't understand it. I know you have all this culling and stuff like that. I mean, I don't agree with any of it. I just let. I just think life should just be let let, let animals live by their life. Not their fault that we've dug roads up and built houses and took all the countryside away. It's not the animals' fault. They were here before us. We have disrupted their land. That's how you got to look at it. I'm not a vegetarian. Although I have contemplated sometimes because they uh, still like killing pigs with knives here. Sick. Sick. My dad did it on my cousin's wedding once years ago, and they got getting married. Awful.
Well, right, what's stabbing a pig in its neck? Drain the blood off. Because they make make jelly out of the blood and things like that. Oh, the fucking vampires, what? They, well, Dracula, wasn't it? Transylvania was all in Hungary years ago. He wasn't Romania, he was all here. They've all, oh, Hungary was massive. Hungary was massive. It was huge. Attila the Hun, that's who I'm named after. He roamed, he, this was his, his land. Massive. That's why you watch any of the Dracula films, you'll see that one I watched, they like, like Van Helsing say, I know that's more of a well, comedy version, I suppose. But it says Budapest on it. Yeah, it was all, all hungry years ago. It's changed a lot. Yeah, Count. So I don't know. But yeah, they still kill pigs there, yeah, by the knife. Slagged them all off before, done all that. Although nobody said, well, if you don't like it, piss off to England. Because I know that. I know that. I, we could say the same in, in England. Say, so I, I don't mind anybody coming to England. You come to England, you abide by the rules. You do everything by the rules. You don't have to live like English people in your house. You can be whatever religion or whatever you want to be. Do whatever you want. My dad was Hungarian. When he came to England, 17 he came to England. But he treated England as his country. That was his country. Didn't speak Hungarian in the house. He had Hungarians come to the house. The odd time he'd speak, if they wanted to speak Hungarian. Most of the time he'd try and talk English. He could talk really good English. Perfect English, my dad. Proper. Proper English. No everything. Some of the um, Europeans who come to England, they haven't got a clue. They've got an accent for years and years and years because... They're too involved keeping keep it together. I've got no problem with that, but mix with English people. Well, if you don't mix, just speak the language and, you know, I just seem to see you all sticking together. You don't really want to mix and mingle. I don't come here and shove all the English down your throat. I talk Hungarian. I do all you feel. I don't, I don't, I live by your rules here. And that's all I'm saying. When you come to England or any, any country you go to, we can't do what English people can't want to do what you want to do in some of these Muslim not we're going to, I mean, I'm not going to start going on about Muslims and nothing like that good and bad and everything but all I'm saying is uh, what I don't agree with I don't agree with going to countries and you do whatever you want to do and it upsets everything but we can't go and do it in certain countries and that, that, it's just things like, it gets, gets right up my nose, I don't understand it. It's, it's beyond me. I, the only people I can blame is the English government. That's all I can blame. I've got no... I, religions, whatever else you're into. I'm Catholic. I, I'm Catholic. Do I get to church? Do I fuck get to church? How the fuck am I going to get to church? I'm going to bring it up. Why the fuck am I going to go to church when the man, priests have been arrested for whatever they've been doing? So I thought, I ain't fucking going to church. No, no, cats, no chance. Am I going to fucking church? My God is fucking me. I'm God. Well, my God. Not saying I don't believe in all that. I've, I've got another story, but I've had near death experiences and everything. And I've had a real, I had a life review, and it was proper. There is something out there, believe me. I don't know what, but there's something out there. But, yeah, all I agree, just, why can't we just all of us, all civilization, why can't we just all be, try and be right? Why don't, come to England, just be, just be normal, want to be, have all this hassle. I mean, England, it's going to sink soon. Do you know what, I want to say this now, coming here, going on the motorways, oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic, Germany's black England now, didn't used to be. Cars everywhere, you can't even, can't even do your job, I was low driving, no wonder I was stressed out. I've got my illness, I was stressed, fucking stressed the fuck. Couldn't even, uh, to do, go, go an hour on the motorway, some mornings, take me three hours. If you hit the traffic at the wrong time. Horrendous. Couldn't get your jobs done, go out with like eight multi jobs. You would probably get two or three jobs done in a day. It's just, it's just not worth the hassle. I don't, I don't need all that. It made me really bad. Made me really, I got, in fact, it made me that bad once. I 
cracked up I did, cracked up one of the proper work phoning me up, phoning me up. Come on, come on, we've got to get got to get all this, got to get these forklifts out. We need I'm doing proper professional cranes forklift work. Get these forklifts, gotta get them delivered. That's fucking they'll get delivered when I get there. Not I'm not fucking got a UFO or got a fucking plane. I can't just fly over all the traffic or drive across the countryside. One morning generally I had three punches. I don't know, I think they gave me some like 30 multi drops. Well, like Milton Keynes, Bedfordshire, or Buckingham, you know, Buckinghamshire and all that area, Watford, St Albans, just all that area. And then coming back, Northampton. Yeah, they were genuine. I got to Northampton, I was in Northampton. Proper cracked up. I thought, you fucking ain't it now. Phoning me up, I made a proper pain in my head. Thought, right, tell you what I'm going to do with this. Fucking put the fucking trailer. Trailer, I had, to, I had to spin it round. I ended up down this dead end road. I'd just done a delivery and the phoning man, I got a load of shit on the phone. And I seen this entrance of the big gate. I mean, how good a lorry driver I was, but I, I did it in Tampa and it was deliberate. There's a big gate and I fucking drove the wagon in there. I, fu I, didn't, give a fu I didn't give a fucking shit. Drove the wagon in, smashed the trailer right into all the. Into all the I mean, this is why lorry drivers, this is why lorry drivers stressed and killing people. That's why I, I, I made sure I had to stop. I couldn't go around on the road being like that. Kill somebody. I'm not killing any family. Oh, but I'm not putting up with that shit. You need to do it to me. ain't fucking doing it to me. I fucking left that, but it hated me. I'm putting up with that shit. You're not doing it to me. Put the trailer. I ate, I ate this big metal post, that hard. The wheel, I had these little caravan wheels on the trailer. Three axles. It, 